Hey guys, so I've got a product that just showed up on my doorstep today, and I thought I'd just bring you a quick unboxing of it. I'm pretty excited to get this in, and uh, they sent it to me, so the company, so Ubiquity Networks sent me this. This is a Wi-Fi mesh router, much like your Google Wi-Fi is, or Eero, if you've heard some of those other brands out there, but they sent this over to me, let me check it out, let me try it out for myself and really give you some of my uh, full truthful thoughts and opinions on it. So, so you guys have never been to my channel before. This channel is about tech reviews and the latest gadgets that you may use in your everyday life. So check out some of my other videos and subscribe to this channel if you really like it. Give me a thumbs up as well and leave some comments in the section down below but enough of that let's get right on into the unboxing all right guys here so let's get right on into the box got my nice uh, pencil sharpener here and we get right on into there so these guys sent this over to me just to get an honest opinion review about this. And wow, that looks amazing. So they sent this to me for a review. Um, kind of in a past life, I've been a network administrator and engineer. So I've uh, set up a lot of different uh, Cisco um, networks, wireless Aruba networks. Aruba is one of those mesh Wi-Fi networks out there that uh, I think just recently got acquired by um, another company. Could be Cisco as well. So, but um, these guys sent this to me just to uh, get an honest opinion and review about it. And so I'm going to give you guys the opportunity to see what this is about. A lot of you have probably heard of other companies like Eero or Google Wi-Fi, but this is one of those competitors of that. So this is the Amplify HD, and um, so it says Home Wi-Fi Perfected. As you can see here on the outside of the box, we've got the Amplify antennas, which these plug into um, your wall outlets and help you extend your network. It works in a similar fashion than a network extender, and um, I've got a video that I'll post somewhere in here um, that has a link to that uh, video that I've done about a network extender that I've used before in the past. Network extenders are really great. They do their job, but there's a little bit more maintenance overhead with them. You don't have a single... Um, network name with them. Now people do set them up that way, but it's not really best practice, so to speak, because you actually can have conflicts of uh, wireless signal drop-offs and such where uh, the device may fight back and forth to try to switch between one AP or access point to another AP. So this being on the same LAN, so to speak, these devices all these all talk to each other, all these access points, so they really help, um, you know, eliminate that access point hopping issues that you come across with using network extenders, especially with the same network name. What I do here in the house with a network extender, I have you know used those, so I've just named them something something different. I segregate certain devices to be on that uh, wireless versus other uh, devices be on my primary um, wireless upstairs. So anyhow, just I get this to you and get an unboxing. So enough talking. We'll get right on into the box. So amazing here, amazing box. Um, I always love getting stuff. This is part of the fun of being a, a reviewer because I get to pull open these great looking boxes like this. So quite solid and here we are.
we'll start with the lesser star of the show, but sort of a star of the show, is one of the um, access points. So these are your antennas. They are on a swivel, looks like, and they plug directly into an outlet. So a normal grounded home outlet. And so that these these extend around and twist around so you can kind of get, um, you know, maybe a little bit of a directional. They're supposed to be omnidirectional, but um, even then I've seen some different signal patterns coming out of these, even with an omnidirectional, so sometimes it helps. But mostly you should be able to just set it up right. Where it comes into play is maybe you've got an object up here or something where you can't plug it directly into the wall without it hitting the wall. So that's where it helps more than anything, and that's, I think, what it's intended for, for that swivel. So don't take it too far, guys. But um, so then we've got the wall adapter for it, and it takes a standard micro USB we take the star of the show out of the box here here on the back is your micro USB power your uh, internet or WAN connection looks to be considering the icon a USB port either that's I'll have to read the manual and and I'll talk about this in a further review after I've used this for a while guys I don't want to bring you um, you know unfederated sort of comments so here is your LAN port. So basically, a lot of times I've got Google Wi Google Fiber at home, not Google Wi Fi, but Google Fiber. And Google Fiber gives me a router. I don't have much of a choice as far as switching that router out. So I will have to plug this into the um, this WAN side into that router and stack it, so to speak and turn off that Wi-Fi in the uh, Google router. That still gives me all the functionality of connecting to Google um, from anywhere and finding out you know, how my network's doing, set things up and administer it. But then on the LAN side, then I can plug in all my devices. So this should be great. Here on the front, though, is what's kind of cool. You can see it based on the image of the box but you get your speed there and so it gives you an output of what your speeds are I'm plugging that in directly right now I'll show you that in a later review, review video but um, that's kind of what that does one last thing that uh, really kind of makes this useful I feel is the uh, connectivity with Bluetooth and then you have an app that you can download for either your iPhone or on Android. So you can administer this thing from your phone. You can see all sorts of your network metrics here as well. This is the HD Wi-Fi model. So that does um, 5.25, 5 and a quarter gigabits per second, around 20,000 square feet of a home so they've got different models different speeds and different ranges so um, your LR model a little bit less speed same square footage but this is the HD model just kind of a quick unboxing um, another friendly reminder guys I don't get paid necessarily for this stuff um, they do send me this stuff for review so just putting in that, that out there but no way do I get paid for my opinions. These are strictly my opinions and my opinions only. Having been in the network, uh, in kind of industry, computer networks, uh, industry there. So, um, thought I'd share that with you guys. Hope you enjoy it. So until next time, I'll bring you guys the review, but until next time, um, stay safe and we'll catch you on the next video.